So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you do the time travel slash teleport slash Peter McKinnon style effect. So in order to understand how the time travel effect slash teleport effect actually works, you need to understand two concepts. First, you need to have video A, which is going to be in this case, a video of you jumping in one specific location, hence here, as well as having video B, which is just essentially a still video without any movement. And these type of effects are best used when there is no change in lighting or any scenery in the background. Hence doing it indoors is the best, but if you're outdoors, make sure your camera is set to manual as well as not having any auto adjusting exposures. And as you can see now that I'm explaining it, it is really a simple effect or trick. So all you're doing is having you in the first video A jumping and then you cut directly to the video of you not there, which is essentially just a still video. These two overlay presets, video A has me walking into the shot. And then I essentially just find where I jump. I probably want to cut it right there. And then you want to cut to your clip where there's just a still video. So now if you play it, So that is essentially the effect in and of itself already. Now you need to apply two of these effects on top of that in between the split. So then it's essentially a deflection technique. So it distracts the viewer's eyes for just one second. So then it looks like you just disappeared. And these, these pre-made overlays, first you'll see that all the background is black. So what you need to do is you click on the preset overlay adjustment, and then you click on the effects and you go down to opacity, make sure there's no keyframes on it. So you take the keyframes off and then you wanna go all the way down to subtract, which will take away the black and just leave the white. Now there's essentially just that cloud and all you need to do now is just to move the two overlays so that you're essentially covering where you're jumping. So you just gotta time it right and I would say right here here, right when I start jumping, that is where I want those two overlays to come into action. So then I would move it here. You can use two or three of these so then it actually covers more of you and you cut it and then you add a cross dissolve so it blends out a little bit more smoother. And it's all about really timing it and how you sell it before you even edit. So as you can see here, I'm trying to jump to the point where it looks like I'm getting sucked into the air. And that's how you sell the effect more. That's a little early. I probably want to move it one frame to the right there. And what you can also do is you can right click and speed and make these a little bit more quicker as well as zoom it in a bit so it looks less pixelated. And then you cut to the clip where you weren't in the frame. And that's essentially it. Now that you understand of having you walking in the frame and jumping in one spot, and then you transition into the clip where it's just the still video, now you can play around. You can teleport in one frame. You can test out flying through the air. You can test out different from going this location to a complete different location or even the same shot. There's a lot of ways you can play with it. And last but not least, to always sell a special effect type of video, you can add sound effects. And here I'm going to apply that sound effect right when I jump. So now it's going to sound right when I jump. So it looks more sellable. And that is how you do the time travel slash teleport effect. And like I already said, it is just going from having a still video cut into a video where you're already jumping in one spot. You cut where just before you land on the ground and then you go back to the still video and you're using overlays or presets as a little deflection technique. And that is how you do the teleport nightcrawler effect inspired by Peter McKinnon type of videos. And it's not about copying, but it's more about understanding how these effects work and how can you take 
these effects and apply it to your storytelling and how you make your videos better. And now that you know the basics of how you can use the teleport effect, you can play around with it, get better, and use your own creative output and how you can use this into your videos in different variations and transitions. My name is Peter, you're watching a Broke Visionary Collective where we all start with nothing, but you can always create something.